Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to an 18 hole course log at the St. Francis Bay Golf Course. Hole number one is a short 318 meter par 4 slight dog leg to the left and I took my 3 wood and managed to hit a nice low draw finding the right hand side of the fairway. Second shot of the day with no warm up I decided to take one club extra, 100 meters out, pitching wedge in hand. just caught it way too clean and actually ended up flying the green. The green was slightly elevated so I thought it was the right club. As you can see I had a very awkward bump and run back onto the green. Greens were rolling really pure and really fast that day so I just ended up rolling through the green. Had this one from the fringe for my par Hit a decent putt, ah. thought I made it, but just caught the left edge and lipped out. Tapped in for my bogey. Not the greatest start, but on to hole number two. 370 meter par four. The fairway is shaped like an hourglass, so driver is definitely not the play off the tee. I just took my four iron in hand, favored the right side, because anything left on this hole and you're in the bushes. Didn't catch my four iron that great, but laid up to about 180 meters. Just needed to clear these patches of trees in front of me. And just with my five iron hit a nice sort of bleeding cut and managed to find the green side bunker. I had about 30 meters to the pin with my 54 degree wedge. Just tried to hit a nice low spinning shot hoping that it would release out towards the hole and see how close I could get to make my par. Left myself with a, a 15 footer and just left it short. Had the right line and tapped in for bogey. Onto hole number three, first par three of the day, 170 meters. Took my seven iron in hand, hit it a couple of grooves low and just landed on the left hand side short of the green side bunker. 60 degree wedge onto the green, ended up releasing a bit more than what I wanted it to. Tried to get it to stop but left myself a 10 footer back down the hill for my par. As you will see, this tends to be the pattern of the day, leaving myself with 10 footers for par. And always <laughs> just seem to be missing him. Tapped in for my bogey again, three over on the first three holes. Need to find some sort of rhythm and get back. Hole number four is a 365 meter par four. First time I took the driver out for the day. This hole sets up really nicely for somebody who can hit a draw off the tee. But for me, I tend to cut mine off the tee, so managed to just find the fairway bunker. As you can see, I was not very impressed with that shot because I actually just ended up chunking it into the fairway. Left myself with about 80 meters onto the green. Hit a nice 54 degree wedge, actually got a bit of backspin back down the hill and once again left myself with another 10 footer for my par. Just burning the right edge and tapping in for another bogey. Hole number 5, hardest hole on the course, 
379 meter par 4 playing up the hill and back into the wind. You really need to find a decent drive off the tee to be able to give yourself any opportunity to par this hole. Just pulled my ball a little bit left and didn't uh, get the usual cut that I that I normally get off my driver and as you can see my second shot just landed underneath this tree kind of hindered my backswing a bit and just managed to punch out with the four iron <laughs> landed just short of the water I actually wasn't even aware that the water was there and just hit 54 degree wedge but caught an absolute flyer out of the rough and actually ended up air mailing the green had a very difficult chip shot coming straight back down the hill there's absolutely no way that I could leave that ball short and had this 20 feet for my bogey ended up leaving short and to the right and just tapping in for my double the hardest on the course definitely <laughs> not not on my side Hall number six first par five of the day playing 459 meters loads of space on the right and the left so the tee shot is fairly open and managed to hit one straight down the middle first good tee shot of the day second shot I pulled out my three wood I was still about 250 meters away from the green took a good swing at one managed to also catch it nice and straight just landing 15 meters short of the green simple chip shot on giving myself about five feet my first look at birdie for the day managed to roll it nice and straight and into the cup first birdie of the day hole number seven back to back par fives 446 meters open on the right hand side just don't go left tried to hit a nice draw because we were playing straight back into the breeze today and just ended up rolling through the left hand side of the fairway ball below my feet on the second shot just looking to lay up and somehow managed to draw that <laughs> I have no idea how that ball drew with it being way below my feet that ball should have gone right ended up with a very awkward third shot into the green only had about 80 meters so I just took my 54 degree wedge again and absolutely thinned it straight over the back of the green had this to get up and down for my par my lie wasn't that great so really just didn't catch a chip shot really well had about 20 feet for my par just pulled that one and tapped in for my bogey. Nice, hole number eight, short par three, 130 meters, a beautiful hole. You really need to choose the right club off the tee with a big water hazard short and OB long and right. I hit a beaut of a shot, probably one of the best shots of the day and managed to oh, stick wow. it three feet from the hole. Unfortunately guys, I lost the footage of where I tapped in for my birdie. I'm not too sure what happened, but managed to make the short putt for the second birdie of the day. On to hole number nine, elevated tee box, big dog leg to the right, and OB all along the right hand side. Definitely not setting up for the nice little cut I normally like to play with my driver. Ended up playing the ball slightly too straight and faded a little bit more than what I wanted to. Still managed to find the right hand rough just short of the bushes on the right hand side. Had an awkward lie and a difficult shot to try and get over the corner and just ended up thinning it into this tree in front of me. Fortunately the ball still stayed in play and I managed to just punch out into the fairway leaving myself a 30 meter chip shot that landed just 8 feet short to the left of the pin. just ended up pushing that to the right hand side I could swear it was the wind because as I hit that putt the wind gusted not finishing the front nine too great 
with another double on the cards. Coming onto the back nine, you can see the course stretches down towards the ocean. Some really beautiful holes along this back nine. And I really need to try and redeem my round. Hole number 10 is a par three. It's 156 meters, pretty straightforward couple of greenside bunkers. I was playing back into the breeze. I tried to hit a controlled cut, but just ended up ballooning a bit into the breeze and ended up landing about 15 meters short of the green. Look to just try and play a bump and run because these greens were playing super fast today. And that one actually just stuck a bit more in the fringe and didn't release as much as what I thought it would. Had another 10 footer for my par but this time actually managed to get a good stroke on it and managed to drop the putt first par on the back nine hole number 11 a 310 meter par 4 playing back into the breeze today so playing slightly longer had driver in hand and just looked to keep one out of the wind a nice low cut down the middle of the fairway Left myself with about 80 meters in and didn't want to go long. So, took my 54 degree wedge, back of my stance, tried to hit the lower one, keep it out of the wind, but just misjudged the strength of the wind a bit and landed short. Still had myself. 30 foot look for birdie so definitely not disappointed at that one just knew I needed to give it a good roll just slightly misread it thought that one would break a little bit to the left but had an easy putt back for my par on to hole number 12 short par 4 only 300 meters definitely my favorite hole on the course you have to lay up with a 4 iron as there's trouble left and right and long as you can see there guys the landing spot here on hole number eight is pretty tricky and from the fairway you can't even see where the pin is you just have to trust your line left myself with an eight iron in and managed to stick it nice and close had this 15 footer for another birdie hit the line I wanted to hit but it just ended up missing left tapped in for my paw but was not convinced <laughs> that I hit a bad putt so decided to throw it down again and see if I would make it for a second attempt and what do you know I rolled it in a second time. On to hole number 13. And guys, this is the view from the tee box. Absolutely beautiful. Right up against the ocean. You just don't get better than this. It's a short par 4. Also playing 300 meters. Big dog leg to the left. So with my cut that I normally play with my driver, my line was straight over the bush here on the left hand side and absolutely struck it. Straight down the line where I was aiming with my nice baby cut and ended up finding the fairway with only about 50 meters into the green. Tried to control my 60 degree wedge and just ended up shutting the face on it a little bit and pulled it left. The fringes of these greens are super, super tight. So I was contemplating whether I needed to use the putter or my 60 degree wedge to chip it on. And ended up making the right decision by going with the putter and left myself with a one foot tap in for my paw. Hole number 14 is 163 meter par 3. It was playing back into the wind today, so I decided to club up, use my 4 iron, 
and try and control my cut and just ended up pulling it left an absolute terrible shot probably the worst shot of my back nine managed to find my ball in the thick stuff here on the left hand side chunked it out and managed to get it to release up onto the green had about 15 feet for my par just knew I needed to try and give this a good roll ended up just burning the right edge of the hole and just tapped in for my bogey first bogey of the back nine hole number 15 longest hole on the course par 5 480 meters OB all the way on the right hand side but loads of space on the left managed to hit my nice baby cut straight down the middle of the fairway actually just rolling through ever so slightly finding the first cut just on the left hand side nice and confident I pulled out my three wood trying to get there in two to see if I can put another birdie on the cards and just ended up topping it down the fairway Again, the extra 100 meters, <laughs> nonetheless, had a 9-iron into the green. As you can see, the green is slightly elevated, and there's a big false front on the screen. So I just needed to make sure that I didn't leave it short. Managed to find the green, but had quite a lengthy putt straight up the hill my speed control in this putt was absolutely key just needed to make sure that i got it to the hole ended up absolutely smoking it but found the right line and dropped it in the hole for another birdie onto hole number 16 par 4 347 meters slight dog leg to the right sets up really nicely for my cut and ended up hitting a fairly decent drive just finding the left hand side of the fairway had about 140 meters left decided to knock my 9 iron hit the false front and just ended up rolling straight back into the collection area leaving myself with quite a tricky chip shot very short sided I decided to go with a flat stick and use the Texas wedge and ended up pin high but just breaking a little bit more to the right than what I anticipated straight back up the hill 6 feet for my par and just hold it completely tapped in for my second bogey on the back nine onto the 17th hole is a short par 3 136 meters just ended up hitting my nine iron landing a little bit short pin was at the back today also left myself with quite a lengthy putt up the hill hitting it way too hard and actually hit the hole and it actually managed to slow my ball down but hit a decent putt on the way back down the hill and managed to make my par onto the last hole of the day number 18 another par 5 438 meters water on the left but loads of space on the right hand side and as you can see I absolutely hit that one way right had a decent distance into the green so pulled out my four iron and just hit one straight down the middle of the fairway and had myself about 80 meters into the green slightly elevated just didn't want to leave it short tried to look to spin one back on the pin just ended up landing it a little bit long 
but had a look at birdie straight down the hill <laughs> and as you can see the speed of the greens definitely had me confused today either leaving them short or hitting them too long hitting that one out of frame but managed to actually make it back for my par and actually ended the back nine on a half decent score thanks for watching the video guys and a big shout out to the st francis bay golf course for allowing me to come out and film this 18 hole vlog 